Alright, so I just want to make a kind of short video showing off that you can definitely have transparency and a deferred rendered uh, shader at the same time. Now this does require render textures and uh, might be a bit system heavy perhaps but you can definitely have it. This is just a uh, video showing off that it's possible and the reason why I want to make this in the first place is to be able to have transparency and a deferred shading deferred shaded or rendered object so that the um, surface that's transparent can receive shadows and uh, have the uh, specular highlight being occluded by a shadow. And not only that, but it's, it's also seen by the uh, ray trace reflections in uh, in uh, Unity. And that's good. That means that I don't have to worry about having an extra reflection map like here. And this is done by two render textures. Now it does have its limitations, and that's the fact that it gives this little thing. Because I'm, uh, I'm not using a, uh, I'm not cutting out a mask. So that's the next step. To actually make it mask out whatever's actually below this uh, water surface here. But at least it actually does have. I can see it's still having some form of re reflections right there. So if we take the roughness map all the way up, it should, yeah, you should see it a lot easier. Can we pan using, you know. Yeah, you can see it in the, well, the, the, <laughs> the limitation is that the uh, reflection or the refraction follows the camera because it's actually using a camera on top of our uh, my main camera. You can see the screen space reflections right there. And that's good. That's what we want. And it receives shadows. So let me explain how I did that. Let's open up the water shader. <sighs> it's not too complicated, but it has a lot of like things going here and there. But the thing you need to see is Texture asset going into a texture 2D node. Screen position added by the uh, normal map, so that it, uh, it's actually distorted. And that's put into the UV, and that's merged with like colors and all of that. And this is the reflection map. It's all there. Here's the animation, it's simple, it's just a panner with a time and uh, yeah, it's it's panned in real time, flowing sort of one way. Now the next step would also be to add another normal map, which is panned by a, a different panner, so that it actually overlaps and creates a more believable water surface, and possibly something to do with vertex offset and uh, tessellation probably that's that could be cool so yeah a camera called uh, transparency camera there's a depth camera that's an experiment I had with having uh, the scene the scene depth uh, sort of uh, making the uh, edges blur out but that didn't go too well because if I go to this one, set it to the old water, as you can see I get closer to an edge, it actually stops stops distorting the uh, the reflection. And the uh, as you can see with the specular highlight it also makes that bigger. And that's also one of the videos I have on this channel where I had a planetary object with water and it 
sort of looked kind of cool. But it didn't have the same transparency as this one. Now this object right here is... Uh, this shader, I mean, is not deferred. Because I can't do... For some reason, depth blend doesn't work with deferred. Now that's probably something to do with the right to depth buffer, I think. And that you can't do your own auto sorting and set your own blend mode when it's deferred. Which is a bummer, but... So if I use this effect, this shader does look kind of neat, I guess, but yeah, the um, the highlight isn't being occluded by a shadow, and that's the problem with uh, forward shading objects. Once you do transparency, or at least in Unity, once you do transparency, you can't exactly have uh, shadows on it. It can cast shadows, yeah, but not send any shadows. And that sucks. Mm, yep. Well, at least I have a uh, deferred object with transparent or deferred shaded object with transparency that receives shadows now. So that's kind of cool. Now the uh, let's see depth. Delete that. Don't need that. Transparency. The resolution is kind of low. I could bump it up even higher. Let's see. If, what if I do 960, 560. That's half of 1080p. Now the, the larger the resolution, the more system required. Or the more it's going to drain from your system. But it does look nicer because the uh, transparency isn't... Can I change this real-time? Yeah, this <laughs> this is 16 pixel by uh, 9 pixels. <laughs> it looks kind of like uh, diffuse milk, kind of. We bump this up to 32 by 18. Or even larger, like... Six, four, four. At least you can you can see the uh, you can at least see what's uh, behind there now. But uh, yeah. larger the resolution, the uh, clearer the uh, objects behind it is going to be seen. So yeah, that's that's that. Goody good. All right. Have a good day.